An old man, defying disintegration, picking empty plastic bottles from sidewalk trash cans. An old man, needing the support of some bottom-of-the-line walker, some afterthought of a system that sees destitutes of life only as a burden, rather than a soul equal to theirs. Because in the shallow lives of those vested with the governing of our so-called communal society, if it can't turn a profit, is it really worth the time and effort? And you can read this message in their crossed arms, crossed minds, crossed crucifixes to their religion, commerce, in their chilly corporate cash cathedrals, where clandestine players invoke the concept of taking it all with them when this particular larkin aspect is over. In this casino life, in this manufactured chrome and plastic Eden made in their image, not God's. And God's son, who tried to ruin all the fun with his pink old notions of brotherhood. Yes, take it all with them when they move ahead. Because they say, brother, can you spend your dime? It's not much time. The sale ends at nine. And if they stop to think of you at all, old man, they think of you as rambling, ragged rubbish. Well, to these czars of capricious capitalism and copious carnage, I ask, how many empires have to decline before you get it. Your way isn't working. So why don't y'all just f f f f fade away? And I hope you die before I get old. And I'm not talking about your corpse's extermination. I'm talking about your corporation. I'm talking about your existentialist views. Civilization. Hey, keep it down, boys. An old man inches down the summer street, waging private defiant war. And in his outside world, it's always winter. But inside, the sun burns strong and the wind blows warm. And this old man pauses to look inside the next storefront trash can, descending in the man-made chaos and searching for something. And then rising arthritically, tenderly, a plastic bottle held securely, but gently in his hands, blemished and wrinkled and hurtingly human. Fists that must be like the hands of Christ when raising the dead. An old man who if you put your ear down to the pavement of his soul may be quietly shouting, don't feel my pain, feel my love. And I'm reminded of poor Milton Acorn's words to the unfeeling well-to-do. These words, when I shout love, I mean your destruction. And I want to join with his silent shout, with his invisible love vibration. To join with a force that can shatter, polish, glass exteriors, and expose and resuscitate raw, barely beating hearts. We show love! And this old man places each bottle into a wire basket attached to his walker. He does it as gently as a mother would place a sleeping baby into a cradle. And the rational region of my brain wonders, what's this old man doing? What value could these trash bin, non-returnable bottles have? But I don't ask him. And I don't follow. But if I had this, 
is what I hoped would have been revealed. Not simply an old man, but a bold knight in time ravaged, stained and soiled armor who would arrive back, not at a palace, but just some minuscule refuge he calls home. And the collector bottles would be lined up solemnly upon which he would place world-weary hands on each crumpled, distorted surface, searching for spirit traces, fingerprints of the soul. And when he finds what he's seeking, the old man would close his eyes in devout concentration. And in some distant bedroom, a sleeping body, perhaps filthy rich or stinking poor, would awaken to a new day of new hope, feeling some sense of transformation, some sense of reconnection to a world taken for granted, or a world taken in fear. And this is what I've created to make sense of the incomprehensible. So what is reality? And what is illusion? When I think now of plastic bottles, I think that the shiny, perfectly formed ones full of artificially colored sugar water, they're the illusions. And the crushed, crumpled, carelessly discarded empties are the unfortunate reality. The reality we ignore. The reality that we just throw away too satisfied to have the illusions temporarily just quench our thirst. It's the unfulfilling nature of illusions that leave us exhausted and craving more. The sugar of life, the artificial sweeteners, the sucralose and the aspartame, the alcohol, the caffeine, the shopping mall, the nicotine, the video porn, and the TV screen. Maybe the truth we are missing, the layer we skim, the one we ignore, is the state between existing full to the brim and empty to its core. Between the shiny and shunned, the state of transformation, the happiness that comes when we are becoming lives at least half full of empathy and not at most half empty of care. When we can still be purified and still learn to share and when we shout love, we want me destruction. Thank you, uh, thank you so much for listening.